Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls. Yeah, I didn't have internet. I was on my, I was on, I was, I woke up really early today. I woke up like 4 a.m. because I fell asleep at like 7.44 last night. And, uh, at, I was working on my article and then at 6 a.m. the internet starts going down. I'm like, what? So between like six o'clock and noon, I was calling Comcast multiple times and waiting for Comcast to call me multiple times. And then there's still these days schedule a technician to come out tomorrow. And um, even after all of that, at like 1244, the internet just started working again. So, dude, I... So annoying. I hate it. So, like, Comcast charges you $75 if they come out and there's no problem. But there was a problem, and they they acknowledged it on the phone. And I don't really want to cancel the appointment in case it happens again. But I also don't want to get charged $75, so I'm not sure what the best course of action is. I'm pretty sure Mind Twist is the strongest card in this pack, so I'm going to take it. Oh, Mox Diamond. That's a good, that's a good, or Lion's Eye Diamond. That's a good diamond. Let's take that. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just playing. What goes good with a mind twist? Vendillion Click? Ben, I think we both know I can't borrow internet. Unbelievable. Dark Confidant goes good with mind twist. <clears throat> I'm going to take the Vendillion Click. Is it Chandra? Are we playing like... Yeah, as soon as I cancel the appointment, it happens again tomorrow, and then I have to call them back and get another appointment for the next day. That's literally what's going to happen. That's exact, Curtis, that's exactly what I'm afraid of, dude. <coughs> I'll take Vindelian Click. I, I think it's one of the stronger cards in that pack. Ooh, reanimate. Are we going to reanimate some things? Trojan Rage had a, a shield red reanimate stipulation. So if we, if we get a shield red... Then we'll just ride that. Okay, Necromancy. You're all right. You're selling me here. You're selling me on the reanimate. Okay, Entomb. All right. You're, you're just feeding me the pieces. <coughs> Exhum. All right. You're just giving them to me now. You're just giving me the pieces here. These were the last four picks in a row, just so you guys know. <laughs> like... Wow, dude. Wow. I tried to down... I actually did try to download more internet today, but I was actually really busy downloading more RAM. So... <clears throat> oh, you did Stormless Storm yesterday. You can do Shieldredless Shieldred today. You know what, man? Primaris Powerhouse. I really appreciate the, uh, the step yesterday, and I also think we could have won some of those games if we were able to attack. So I really don't feel terrible about it. In before we get no targets. Oh, Michael B., why do you have to be like this? Why do you have to Michael B. like this? Got him. Michael B. is actually doing some work right Thank now. Thank you. Mr. $10 Bill with the 11 months. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate you. Uh, my internet payout may have a hole in it. Hopefully, the, te the technician will take a look at it tomorrow. I don't get why you have to be the way that you are and not on stream. I agree. <clears throat> I also have a question for chat that I'm going to ask. Hopefully you guys will be ready. I got the dry, I got the washer going in the background. After we took these, oh God, is the internet down again? Okay, good. Ooh, Ashen Rider. That's a guy I want to reanimate. A reanimate. You know, I feel especially human. That's I'm glad to hear it, buddy. Glad to hear it. Fatal push? Fatal push is decent. We don't necessarily have to be Vendillion clicking. Sun Titan's alright. Actually, if we reanimate a Sun Titan, we can get back a Narcomancy and get back something else. I kind of like that. I also kind of like Black White, because then it lets us play the, uh... Like if we get an Unbarrel Rights... You know? <clears throat> so that's kind of cool. I hate Bizarre. I really hate Bizarre. 
I know it's all right, but I just don't like it. Oh, Ancestral Vision. Big Brims. Skull Clamp is interesting. It could be decent if we get, like, a Bitter Blossom or something. Vampire and Hex Mage is all right. I'll just take Skull Clamp because I think the upside is way, way higher. I mean, this is not a bad seven, seven of nine cards so far. Eh, Gideon's okay. I guess if we're... Yeah, I mean, it gets we Sun Titan can get a Gideon back. The only other option is Black Cleave, and I don't think we're actually playing. Is Bitter Blossom in the cube? Yeah. Duh. Liliana also reanimating. <clears throat> Seems good. Uh, I have not expected as a, a creature. We can get back sometime. <clears throat> mm. We just had a transformer explode in my house. Anything good? Mm, kind of meh. Elspeth's pretty decent. <clears throat> and I'm out of power, so Frank, I'm extremely glad you're streaming and I have data. Oh, man. I'm here for you, buddy. I'm here for you, Bobby. Dang it, Bobby. Is it... Oh, it's probably Ulamog, right? Because this guy can go into the graveyard. Yeah, that's pretty good. I was looking at this Elspeth, but I think Ulamog is probably just better. Oh, Big Gristle? Sure, my dude. Sure. 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 Oh, I'm cool. Yeah. Do we have any instant speeds? I don't think so, though. Sorcery. Sorcery. We could do this at instant speed. Doesn't get haste, though, right? Is bribery better than our white cards? And it's better than putrid imp that lets us discard. I mean, bribery is pretty good. Let's play Vendillion Click, but I mean, like, I, I do like our white cards. <clears throat> I mean, we can take bribery and, and hope that either Future Emperor or Arcane Artisan comes back. But, like, the thing is, right now, we their only discard outlet really is uh, Entomb. I mean, Angel's fine, but I'd much rather have an engine here. I, I actually like this Angel a lot. I think it's underrated. Bribery's just so good, though. I want to take the bribery. I think that I think the future will come back, and I'm really just gonna kind of bank on that. Oh, uh, I like verdant catacombs. Yeah, verdant catacombs seems like the pickup. That's a late library. Ooh, scrubland. Scrubland seems nice. Living death is alright. Like we have enough reanimation cards. I don't really need a living death. I'd much rather have. A fixing land, presuming that we're white. Opposition. Oh, Collective and Una's Prowler. That's pretty good. Collective is nice because it gets rid of a discard spell and it lets you put a creature in the graveyard. Yeah, we're definitely taking Collective Brutality here. That's a solid pickup, dude. <clears throat> Wishclaw Talisman? Yeah, you all right. I don't hate Izzet's Signet. Just take a Relic, too. 
I mean, we're still not necessarily white. I don't think Gideon is super impressive. Sun Titan is nice. And, like, we don't actually have to cast this, right? Although we could. I mean, this pack's pretty unimpressive. Frantic Search is decent in our deck. Oh, boy. I also do like Mask Arm. Man, I cannot get this room to cooperate. The rest of my internet is fine, but the buffer, this buffer, that's weird. That's weird. Why is that? <coughs> yeah, I think it's search too. Being able to discard two cards and also dig deeper for the reanimation spells and then untap and reanimate the same turn. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Guys, I promise in the next few days I'll probably be over this cold, but... <laughs> I can't stop coughing, okay? God. Oh, makeshift mannequin came back. Yeah, I guess we'll take that. You think the Emrakul's gonna come back, guys? Well, right. I, I know we don't have to play white to play the... Oh, I guess we could play Sun Titan, too, is what you're saying. It's not, it's not, it's not. It's just a regular cold that I've been talking about for the past week that I'm almost over. Thank you. I have no job, but I do have Amazon Prime. Dev, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. You are awesome. My man. <clears throat> I should get the my man clip, right? Because I say it so much. Well, Michael B. lives in the same house, so he doesn't really have to visit. But I am waiting to get over this cold before we before we stream again. I do have a second webcam, so I can just put Mike in the background and, and put the webcam on him. I hope my internet didn't... Well, you guys are still here, so... But I can't load this webpage. Okay, well, this is... What? What? What just happened? That was weird. All right. That was very strange. <clears throat> oh, wow. Una's Prowler came back, too? Wow, we're literally getting, like, everything. Everything there is. My man. Yeah, when you guys sub, I'm going to be like... My man. <clears throat> Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. My man. My man. Okay, take it easy. You don't have to start auto playing stuff. Some some men would take Sheldock Isle. I would take Consecrated Sphinx. <coughs> Wonder if Sheldock's gonna come back to me. Shelly, come back to me. Karn. Animate dead. Wormy boy. Mike, you like reanimating stuff? Is that true? I think Animate Dead is definitely better than Exhum. I agree with you. <clears throat> um, if not Expector, you are only in here because of mostly Sun Titan. <laughs> yeah, I love reanimating stuff. Oh shit, my exception. I don't think it's Karn because we're not going to be casting it. I think it's either Orm Coil or Animate Dead. Because right now we have Reanimate, Exhum, Necromancy, Mannequin, and Liliana. 
but we only have like four creatures to reanimate. I think it's Worm Coil here, and I, I, I I'm more, I'm more convinced that the animate dead would probably come back based on what we've opened, and what we've been past. <clears throat> I actually don't like Shallow Grave. I do like Ravenous Chupacabra, probably more than Roofwing Cloudscape. Oh, D Demo? Oh, we get to Demo? We don't have a single blue-black fixing land. Has it? Is it me, or do the land seem more rare in this in this particular cube? I mean, we're definitely taking Demo and putting over Dark Petition. Like, I feel like I never get any lands, and it's very strange. Oh, what up, John? Thank you. Search for Esconda is actually pretty good. Let's just put things in the graveyard. Grave tights? And Necrotal. Monsanto. Everyone says safe. Usually it's just a fart, but sometimes it's a shart. It's true. It's true. I don't think Grave Titan's better than either of these, but I also don't think anything else in this pack is better than Grave Titan, so that's where I'm at right now. Oh, Pack Rat? Wow, that's a discard outlet if I ever saw one. Thank you. Juposhi, 24 months, my dude. Two years of nice bobers. <laughs> hey, buddy. Nice bobers. Oh, here's a Kozilek. <clears throat> I mean, we're probably not going to be casting that guy. I like a Languish, actually. It's nice to have Languish. <clears throat> uh, I don't think we need this. Dark Ritual could be these. Did we get any power? I don't think so, right? No, we're just like literally... <laughs> we're gonna play like fucking eight islands, ten swamps over here. <sighs> we passed power? I don't think so. Oh, Time Twister, I guess. I don't know. Honestly, I don't consider Time Twister power. <coughs> oh, the anime did came back, just like I said it would. Time walk? I don't think we I, I don't think we passed the time walk, guys. Oh, I like a toxic deluge. Oh, get a little Michael B telling me to play. What if I just took out the blue cards and just played mono black? <clears throat> With Ashen Rider, obviously. I mean, it's one, two, three, four, five, so we'd go down to 22. What if we just cut Signet? <clears throat> Search. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Throat's a little scratchy. Bone Shredder's ready. What if we did take out these? And then we just play Swamps, right? Then we can play the Exhume. And we can play Dark Ritual. Yeah, we can still play Sphinx for Reanimate, but it's awkward to have it in hand, and I'd rather like minimize the number of cards I just can't cast. Plus, like we already have these these five, which I think is is probably enough. <clears throat> I mean, I can also see cutting like makeshift mannequin because we put the exhume back in, so now we have like reanimate, animate dead, exhume, necromancy. Oh, we also have living death in here. Yeah, let's get Living Death out of here. You can play Toxic Deluge and like... Yeah, Hypnotic's actually not terrible with Dark Ritual. 
This actually doesn't look bad. Like, our reanimation is actually... We actually have a lot of reanimation. Five ways to reanimate. Five choice things to reanimate. A demo to get one or the other. Uh, ways to put things in the graveyard. We have Future Imp, Entomb, Pack Rat, Unus Prowler, and Brutality. So five ways there. So this is like, this is our main deck right here. Five ways to discard, five things to reanimate, five things to reanimate with. And then like, this is all removal. And Dark Ritual. Yeah, this, let's, let's try this. Does Verdant Catacomb do anything for us except for thin our deck of one swamp? I mean, there's definitely going to be situations where I'm like, well, I'm at one, and I need a, a sixth land. Yeah, I'll just play basics. Uh, we don't have anything that cares about Threshold, right? Like, <coughs> or Delirium, right? Like, that's not a thing. Yeah, I think we're fine with, like, 17 lands. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's a mistake to not play Bribery and Consecrated Sphinx, but, like, it really messes with our... Oh, Threshold for Future Dim? Yeah, I don't care about that. Alright, so we got Ritual. Uh, so we can go... Uh, we're on the draw. Thank you. Chicken Run Official, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. <clears throat> we could also just skip our first land drop, put one of these in the graveyard, and then necromancy it next turn. However... Is that better than going land, land, collective brutality, kill this, look at your hand? Yeah, I think I like that better. I like being able to collect a brutality and get one in the graveyard that way. Because we're going to have to, I want to do this anyway, so. Okay, cool. I guess we should have played Dark Ritual first turn. Jesus God. Oh, Christ. Yeah, I can still draw Toxic Deluge for 10. Which is, you know, the same as taking 10. What's all up here? <laughs> like... Yeah, I've had channel in maybe three drafts, and I've been able to do this, I think, one match, one game of those three drafts. Uh, so, you know. Right, yeah, if we yeah, if we went to our Ritual Collective Brutality, we would have actually, yeah, I don't know, we, it doesn't matter if we killed the Avacyn's Pilgrim, we would have actually, we're going to make them discard the... Like that's the whole point of collective brutality. You, you take their removal spell or like their their answer for your your fat your fat creature. Yeah, 
which we mentioned in the drafting portion. I don't, I don't know what's going on. T -t -t Today, Junior. It's so weird. When, oh, are they thinking of like playing something else? Like, do they have like an eight drop in their hand that they're also going to play? Come on, Toxic Deluge one time, dude. This bad boy can fit so much gyre. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh my god, what's the f fucking hold up, dude? An eight drop would be amazing. If they go to two here, that would be the best thing I'd ever seen. If they go to three, though, it's a little sad. Not really the same. Thank you. Admiral Akbar. Oh my God. It's the Alan Beck. Unbelievable, my dude. 58 months. It's unbelievable. Alan, that's a god that's a good amount. That's like five years, dude. That's a lot ought miss. <laughs> yeah. You've missed everything. They've lost the connection to the game. This is how we win, guys. This is how we do it. Here's my question to you guys. <clears throat> so I got this pair of Jordan 1s, right? Okay. I believe this is New York to Paris. I'm going to find out. New to Paris. Yep, it's New York to Paris. Okay. And I'm going to show you something that happens to these Jordan 1s when you wear them. I don't, I've showed you the other pairs that have like the, the color change, right? When you wear these enough, Thank you. they change this. The, the gray rubs off to pink here and like a hotter pink here. <clears throat> and then you know up here as well so my question is which one of these laces that they came with do i put on we have gray which i'm not a fan of and then we have the hot pink that will match the the uppers and then we have this light like peach color that's also going to match and i don't know which one to pick man katie liked this one i kind of like this one but i also kind of like this one for the high contrast Okay, you guys are legit going 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 hard for the hot pink, which I which I'm glad because I kind of wanted to try it. They also have black laces too, that which are already in here, and like, it's funny because Jordan ones usually always come with at least two laces, but coming with four pairs of laces is pretty uncommon. But these are sweet, and uh, I'll keep you guys posted on uh, weave them together and use both. I actually don't hate that idea. Oh yeah, we're doing it, guys. <clears throat> and the glowy bits <laughs> sorry internet died no problem man no problem all right one time <clears throat> that's not what we're looking for if we don't play anything we just take 10 we can discard gristlebrand does that do anything, though? I mean, it gives us another chance to draw... <clears throat> to draw Deluge. No, it doesn't. We can't Deluge anymore. So I guess we'll just take 10 here. I don't think we're going to do anything. Like, it's not going to... We're not going to win the game by any means. I mean, we're never going to be able to block. Yep, I'll just take 10. You know, Ulamog on turn two is... Look at this mana base. Taiga, Scrubland, Avacyn's Pilgrim that doesn't make green. And they got the turn two channel. That's unbelievable. What the fuck? You get your progenitus? What does Necrotal do? Necrotal doesn't do shit.
<laughs> God. Oh. There we go. So we go to three, but we have no way to produce additional mana after we... Oh yeah, Necrotal definitely does not bop Ulamog. Ulamog has indestructible, my dude. <clears throat> yep. Gonna concede the game. Toxic Deluge, next card. Is in the top three at least. No, okay. Well... What up, good girl? What the, What a weird... <coughs> bribery seems great, but, like... Eh, actually, bribery seems real good here. Four, five... Take out Necrotol... Bone Shredder. Mm. Don't think we need Prowler. We have <clears throat> actually Prowler's free. Yeah, so is everything else though. Like Frantic Search and uh, and Search for his Counter are also ways to put things in the graveyard if if they happen to be on top. Actually, we can take out Vendillion Click. I think the double blue is kind of hard there. Oh, I don't think I even want the Signet here, to be honest with you. Yeah, I probably do, right? I don't know. Entomb, Future, all those are good. Hypnotic Spectre is kind of meh. That's seven blue. And we're just going to play 41, because that's how we do. Well, I'm currently sitting 106 hours and still haven't beaten the main quest of Witcher 3. Wow. That's ridiculous. Oh yeah, Cyberpunk 2077 looks pretty legit. So I think we pack rat and then make a rat discarding Gristlebrand. Like that just seems like it's more aggressive. Th now we're talking. Really get tropical island and they and they daze us. Scrubland. In these trying times, I think with the roller in this draft, where you and Bar Bartle Bartleboo, the scribbler, sing us some songs. Wow, that sounds really familiar. I feel like you may have proposed this before. If Juposhi is your real name. Alan, congrats on the engagement, buddy. See, this is where we hope that they just don't have, like, reanimate themselves. But the two creatures we saw were Progenitus and Ulamog, neither of which are reanimatable. So I would assume no. But, you know, we'll see.
Chad, this was meant to be your step, but then we couldn't find a shield so we're just doing a regular reanimator. <clears throat> I'm going to have six here because I don't have any responses. But as far as random air decks go, we got pretty much everything we'd want. I like that it's the it's the new border in the in the in the stack, but it's the old border in the graveyard. Old border in the streets, new border in the sheets kind of kind of thing. Except my girl bug thing. <laughs> We've reached the part of the cold where like when I laugh I cough. So that's cool. <clears throat> Demonic Tutor seems pretty good. What do you use to save your vids from Twitch and upload to YouTube? Uh, the same program I stream with, OBS. I have no idea what this weird mana base is. I don't think you ever saw my question yesterday. How have you played? Have you ever played Factorio? I don't think so. I don't think I know what that is. Oh yeah, I love it. <clears throat> it's weird because like my my web pages are loading super slowly, and so it makes me think like my internet is dead. But like, you guys are still chatting, and I'm still online. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's all happening. Chad, is it like is it like is it like a, a Sims game? Like a not not obviously not of the same franchise, but is it like a Sim City? <clears throat> I mean, we're still on Magic Online. The the beauty of Magic Online is that like it takes a lot to disconnect you from Magic Online. <laughs> They're calling again. I mean, I, it looks like I'm still good. Yeah, all right. I mean, their clock was going down, not mine. So I was kind of hoping for that. <clears throat> I mean, we're just hoping they don't have, like, second white, second black, damnation, slash wrath of God, right? They died. They have died. <clears throat> I kind of like Vendillion Click just because they're doing some they're doing some real shenanigans here. Uh, 
I'll take out Liliana Dust Majesty and bring him into the click. Um, <clears throat> uh, I'm going to keep this hand. If we have anything to, like, we have a way to discard already, and looking at their hand is good. Uh, we're not using Dark Petition because we have Demonic Tutor in already, and I don't need two of those effects, one of them, which is five mana. But do 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 Alright, here we go. Ba ba dum ba da boom boom boom. Okay, don't care about any of these stupid idiots. Oh boy. Two modes. Uh, should we do three modes just to just to discard like a titan? I mean, I'd like to have a second a second thing in the graveyard, but I guess we do have pack rat, and I don't know how Gristlebrand's actually gonna. Nissa Progenitus <clears throat> Forest. Well, that hand's just terrible. They were going to play Nissa this turn. Now they can't. Channel doesn't even do much. I guess it just plays Nissa. That's just fine. Oh, I guess they drew. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> The rich get richer, my dudes. Oh, man. Fucking... Vindicated, my dudes. I didn't even draw cards that turn. Man, I'm a maniac. <clears throat> I mean, we just get to kill Nissa here, right? So, that's fine. Wow. Reanimator off the top, dude. So the last card is Progenitus. I don't even care about mind twisting that. We can exhume and get back Worm Coil Engine? Blah. And they get back Finn Llanowar Elves? Sure, dude. I am game. This game's over. Give me that. <clears throat> Uh, what do we got? Worm Coil or Grave Daddy? Let's go Worm Coil. I like life. I like the life gain. It's like they can't even natural order four Progenitus now because it's in their hand, so that's pretty good. <clears throat> oh boy. <laughs> I mean, I don't feel bad about that top of thing they were animate when they went like channel 
Emrakul Ulamog on turn turn two in game one. So like this is just life, right? Um I don't want to draw more cards, guys. I know it sounds weird. Maybe I do. I probably do, right? Are they going to animate this guy and block my worm coil? Oh, no. Oh my god, how much life do we gain? 13 life? We go to 26? Oh, Jesus. Do we want to draw to hit... <clears throat> we want to draw to hit Dark Ritual here. We did not, but that's okay. I mean, we could also just make them discard their two cards. I think that's actually fine. What? X is, okay, I was like, X is currently one. Although, if they do draw... Oh, Emrakul, huh? The thing is, if they do draw Natural Order, it's a lot better now. So maybe that's maybe that's worse. I don't know. They had a card in hand, so... You must discard. One, two, three. Two, three, four. We got still more? Dang. One more. How many lands is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <clears throat> I mean, if they top deck Progenitus, so be it. Like, I think we still... I think, yeah, we still just win that. Like, we still win that race. Oh, we win the match. <clears throat> what do we hit? Ritual a second seven? Three, four, five, six, seven. No, it's way down there. What if we frantic search? We go draw one, two. Still no, it was way deep. I guess we could have entombed at that point. No, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, let's. Oh, this is nice. They drew. Oh man! Oh shit! That that mood swing from like my utter frustration of getting mind twisted to like. But it 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 it. <laughs> this, oh yeah this is a hand boys <coughs> the oh god this sucks the oh baby we got the mother load what up standard beat the only thing better than this is top deck in a dark ritual yeah I'm keeping that we beat a channel ordered natural order deck where they channeled and natural ordered in the first game <clears throat> yeah. Oh, now, oh, ooh, ooh, -wee, Rick. All right, we're doing it. God, I hope we're doing it. Oh, they tapped out, they're dead. Was it Ashen Rider? Uh, it's gotta be Ashen Rider, right? 
Could be Ulamog. Let's put an Ashen Rider in there. It's an Ashen Rider. If we draw Dark Ritual, I'm probably just going to go Una's Prowler, discard Gristlebrand, reanimate Gristlebrand instead. Do we kill one of their lands? Do we kill their, their planes? Or do we kill their Varal? Oh, well, interesting. Supremely interesting. Well, we have four mana to work with. We can go Prowler, discard, reanimate Gristlebrand, draw a million, but I don't think we have enough one drops to really make it worth it. You know, the thing is, like, <clears throat> Gristlebrand gives us enough cards to make sure we get... Oh, Daze doesn't actually do anything against this. Smoky Loki. If that is your real name. It's a fake name. We're gonna Rich. Ooh-wee, Rick. I think you probably say ooh-wee, Rick, more times a day than is said on the entire... Rick, that's probably true, because I think it says, like, three times in the whole series, so... Oh, Luna's Prowler is so weak right now. <clears throat> ooh-wee, Rick. So we have no mana left over, so I'm just going to pass. And then maybe draw a million... I'm lucky if I get their game without saying it three times? Dang. Zaichi, do I know your real name? Oh, they're just going to time walk. That's cool, man. You knock yourself out, bro. I think they're going to Wrath of God. They're looking for another white so they can wipe the board. But Brawl seems like a weird card to play into Wrath of God. Oh, that's, that's something, but we got a Bone Shredder. Going five in the world today digs everything you got. Oh boy, they're going to draw a bunch of cards now. Bone Shredder is ready. Really? <coughs> interesting, interesting. Wouldn't you like to get away? I mean, this is a pretty... This is an interesting situation here. Can you block, please? What's the, what's the hold up here? Is he unblockable? <laughs> Can you not block? What's happening right now? Choose creature to block. Cancel. Oh, God, he's having a stroke. Did you see it? He was like, uh, 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 uh. he didn't know what to do. They're just going to discard. That's fine. Yeah, I don't care about that. Oh, wow. Why did we? What? I was going to discard the Ulamog. Dang it. That's some bull honky. <coughs> Don't have days. Don't 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 daze me, my bro. Oh wow. They didn't even try to daze me. This is all very fascinating. Draw seven more. Do it. I dare you. They call it the Prowler two step. That sounds about right. <clears throat> All right, so we have 7, 12 damage. There are 13. It's rough days. Uh, 
Oh, I got a discard too? Alright, Ulamog can go. We're not casting that guy anytime soon. <clears throat> Caracas? Man. Come on. How you gonna act? They have nine cards. I mean, if they wipe the board, they, this guy kills something. That's cool. I like killing things in Magic the Gathering. <clears throat> you can tutor him up, though. Tutor who up? Tutor him up. T tutor him up. All right, let's get in there. I mean, Crystal Brand's obviously getting getting sent home, right? Boy, <clears throat> yep, that's fine. What am I gonna do about that? Nothing. Oh wow. Well, that's something. Break me off a piece of that Karak ghost. I'm gonna play the land. And Bone Shorter just kills this guy. I'm tempted to tutor just play Pack Rat. Yeah, I mean, we're never reanimating Ulamog, obviously. <laughs> that seems terrible. Let's see what sounds good here. Correct that whip. Oh, I like a mind twist for next turn. Collective Brutality discarding Grave Titan is decent, but we don't have a way to get it back right now. So next turn we can actually animate dead. <clears throat> if we get animate dead, next turn we can activate Pack Rat and animate dead the Grave Titan. That seems pretty decent. Yeah, unfortunately, if we reanimate Ulmog, it's not going to kill their their thing. I actually like Mind Twist. Mind Twisting them for four next turn seems pretty strong. <coughs> of course, they could counter it, but I'm going to take Mind Twist. I just think it's the strongest option here. Ooh, a dig through time. When six cards just isn't enough. Excuse me. Sun Titan? Bribery. What can you have? Worm Coil? <clears throat> worm Coil seems pretty good here. Yep, that's pretty much the only thing they have left. Of Grave Titan, Gristlebrand, Ulamog, Ashen Rider, and uh Yeah, it seems still seems pretty good. And we got this stupid bone shredder. Uh, non-black, non-artifact, okay. Non-black, non-artifact, okay, okay. Seems good. Hmm. 
I mean, we can just cast Grave Titan next turn, Chump Lock here. Yep, <clears throat> it's pretty good. <coughs> Wish I had some cough drops, man. I think this game's over, unfortunately. They just had too many things. They had both Caracas and Sword Supply Shares for my two guys. They had Sower for my Gristlebrand to draw seven. They had Bribery for my Worm Coil Engine. They had Remand for my Mind Twist. So it feels like just every everything we've played so far has has been... Yeah, definitely blocking here and not going to two. And now we're just going to play Grave Titan, but they have seven cards in hand and assume that they can't do anything about that. Gideon Jura. Okay. So now we can actually get rid of your whole hand, but then we die. So I guess gravy tea is what's coming down. Thank you. PC Vogel, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Ten months, man. Tomorrow's my birthday. Happy birthday, dude. Thanks to Kron. I can finally have the birthday I want. Food in abundance and no people to have to share it with. Wow. That's fantastic. Happy birthday, my dude. <clears throat> I hope it's a good one. Oh, wow. Control Alt F4 to get a free reanimate spell? Hold on. Let me do that. <clears throat> Control Alt. Is it F4? Does it just come out of the library or where does it, what, where does it come from? I can't believe I modded you. I can't believe you're a mod. You friggin' biscuit. Oh, it can only be done at sorcery speed? T can only be done at soakery speed. Okay, well, we're going to concede here because you just have the answer. Like I said, they have the answer for everything, so. Um, take out Necrotal. I kind of like Living Death. They have both, bri I guess, move. The, our bribery seems pretty bad against them, to be honest. Bribery, so bribery and Caracas. Oh god, it's just like the worst combination. Go f yourself. Typing is hard. We can't all just speak at the camera. Yeah, sucks to be you. No Berts. <clears throat> I want to bring in Living Death because it's just another answer to their bribery, and it actually could put us in a good position. Oh, it's Zimini Pot. Well, oh, biscuits. I'll keep this hand. You know what? We have like five reanimation spells. Oh, no, don't do that. Oh, no, don't do not do it. Don't do it. We want to play our guy. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, we did it. I was like, let's play this guy first turn. Because if we draw a reanimation spell, we'll just get Ashen Rider and, and pop that dude out.
Oh we. Oh we, Rick. <clears throat> oh shit, he said it again. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, I don't I don't know, buddy. I hope they play Baral. Oh, they didn't play it. Do we just get to do we just get to Do we just get to necromancy here? They got a daze? You think they got a daze? You need to change the points? I need to cash in my 28k mic bits on something funny. I don't even know what I could change them to. I just watched the turtle crawl up her little ramp and get on her little on our little platform. Man, she's my favorite. Oh, I could totally do turtle cam now, huh? Hold on, let's watch. Let's see if let's let's see what turtle cam looks like. Can I zoom in farther? I wonder. Hold on. She's in there. You guys, it's hard to. She just crawled up on her little platform there. It's hard to see. <coughs> And oh, I got oh dang it! I tilted that too. Man, what a mess! What a hot mess this whole this whole ordeal has been. That's better. All right, so we're gonna play this guy. Discard this guy. Uh, float. <clears throat> Let's see the days. Fucking Christ. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> yep, yeah, let's just cons let's just uh let's just continue the trend of having everything you need at any given point, my friend. Everything you need. Hey, you got three mana and a three mana necromancy? I got a daze. Oh, you got a time walk. Alright, seems good. No, oh, all right, cool. Sure, my dude. Yep. Cool. We're doing it. We are doing it. I mean, I assume they'll bounce this guy now because if they have to hit a land drop, which they don't, so, you know. Man, I wish when I played two-color decks, I could pick up lands for my colors. That would be sweet, dude. Instead, I'm like, I guess I'll just play mono black because I saw no fixing lands in these colors. Yep, let's just keep drawing, just keep drawing swamps. Seems good. I mean, we have Warm Coal to cast next turn, and then they bounce it with Teferi. So I'm not really super excited about six mana Warm Coil into, the, into four open mana and six cards. So, I don't know. I was excited about Necromancy on turn three, but so long, trophies. <clears throat> After years of watching for free, I finally broke down and subscribed. <clears throat> David, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it, dude. Oh, Liliana seems good, right? What are the odds they have an answer to this? Uh, over 9,000. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. It 
Interesting. <coughs> I guess I'll use my boring points just to make my messages a little flashy that wow. I'm so sorry you're inconvenienced. <coughs> I mean, this means we can actually entomb and get something else. Like a Gristle Dad, <clears throat> which might be good. No, it was it was it was Vegeta. Vegeta was using the scouter to check out Kakarot's power level. It's over nine thousand. Yeah, I think it's just Gristle Brand here. I don't care about Teferine. If you want to bounce Gristle Brand after I've drawn fourteen hundred cards, that's fine, dude. Also, we're at a point where, like, we can probably just cast Crystal Brand if you. We played a land this turn, right? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Glad I could catch some cube. I'm thankful to have streamers like you for some levity with all this isolation going on. I need. I know it didn't sit well with you at the time, but the game where you had your channel, man, the tithe made me lose it. Hey, man, I'm glad, as long as you guys enjoy it, I'm glad that's, I'm glad it could happen. Like, it's not something I dwell on. I'm not like, I can't believe I had this happen to me this one time. You know, it's like, it's not a big deal. It's just frustrating at the time. But if you guys can get some fucking laughs or enjoyment out of it after the fact, that's all worth it. Here comes, here comes old Sower of Temptation. Uh, actually, it was Sonic the Hedgehog that sent it to Bowser when they were both checking out Samus. Wow. That's a whole lot of... <coughs> that's a whole lot of different properties. Well, we're going to draw seven here for sure. Okay. What are you going to name? Oh, you're going to name Gristlebrand? Me too. Me too. And an Oblivion Ring? God damn. <clears throat> Getting rid of my Alilis. I and mean, we can just cast either one of these next turn. That seems okay, right? Reanimating this guy going to five is okay, I guess. So actually, what if we do both? That's a lot of things on the board, right? Oh, that's better. Well, maybe. I guess we can actually discard this, reanimate, and animate dead them both, right? play a land first I mean I'd rather animate dead this yeah and I don't want to reanimate Ashen Rider kill this thing Mom resolves. <clears throat> Let's discard Grave Titan because I think Grave Titan is just a better. Uh, it goes a little wider here. <clears throat> I, mean, I guess we can also discard Worm Coil. <laughs> but I feel like we're going pretty pretty decently wide here. I 
I mean, we can actually just F6 during their turn. Even if we had something, they have Teferi out. So it's like, eh. <coughs> God damn. I mean, Wrath is fine, because then we get to... Yeah, that's fine. I mean, we can just discard it, reanimate it next turn, so I'm not really... Like, the, the amount of value we're going to get off Ashen Rider is pretty high. And now they just wipe the board. That's, that's pretty obnoxious. Worm is better in the face of a sweeper, but, like, <clears throat> I kind of wanted to make sure we get rid of Teferi. I don't know. Oh, they're just going to steal my Sower of Tumtatsion. Or, you know, they're not stealing my Sower. They're stealing Grave Daddy. Oh, Grave Daddy. What mic do I use? My mics are sure SM7Bs. SM7Bs. My internet seems to be going slow again, so I hope you guys are still there. Their time is going down, so I don't know what that means. But all my pages are loading super slow. Up. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, it's really like going all over the place. I think we're okay. I think we've stabilized. I, I forgot what happened with this car. Did they it target itself? Oh yeah, it did. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that's hilarious. All right, so they're tapped out. Oh god, we can almost cast this guy. That's interesting. I mean, if we had Chupacabra, I'll just Chupacabra to kill this guy. Uh, Any order's fine. Those are two cards I did. Well, the, the Demonic Tear is not what I wanted to hit. I guess we can reanimate Muldrifter, right? <clears throat> I mean, we could also get rid of... We could discard Ashen Rider, reanimate Ashen Rider, get rid of Sower. That seems like the best, right? It puts us to five, but I don't know. It's kind of scary. I mean, the alternative is getting back Muldrifter instead and then hoping that we can uh, draw either, like, Ravenous Chupacabra or Bone Shredder or something. Alright, so Teferi, your face, your face. Froggy went a court and a heated ride, Karambo. It's nice that none of our creatures are <clears throat> um, legendary. I mean, I'm waiting for the wrath of God. Faith's fe faith's faith's fetters. Mike calls this face fetter, feathers. And I'm like, like a bird? Oh, Geist of Saint Draft. Fascinating. 
Land. Yeah, that's not what we wanted, but we'll take it, I guess. Ba ba da ba da ba da 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 do do da do da. Rocky went according and he didn't really know him. Do da da. God, do we just want to cast the Ulamog next turn? I think we just want to cast the Ulamog next turn. We just don't want to take any more damage here. Uh, one, two, three. So next time we can just get to play Ulamog, that's pretty decent. Swords on the Worm Coil. Okay, go to go to eleven. <coughs> I mean, they still have to have an answer for Ashen Rider, and we've seen Council of Judgment, Swords, Face Fetters, and Oblivion Ring so far. So I mean, what are the odds they're going to be able to deal with this guy? It's like none, right? <laughs> Never going to have that. They have one card in hand. Oh wow, that feels real good. So we just get the cast dual mog here and get rid of Baral. Oh, maybe we just get rid of their Scrubland and their Celestial Colonnade. And hope their last card... If their last card was Remand, they would have Remand our, our card last turn, right? Just get rid of their Black Source. If they want to, actually, if they want to remand this, it's like, okay. <laughs> hmm. Five, this is seven unblockable. They go to four and they block, block, they have to block both, right? Yeah, let's do that. This is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's lethal, so... Yep. Trade a Geist for a zombie. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm fine with this. Yep, anywhere. <clears throat> I feel like we won. But... I have active Liliana. This guy's indestructible, so... Sure. There's nothing left, right? Like, Gristlebrand's gone. Ulamog's gone. Ashen Rider's gone. Worm Coil's gone. I mean, you can ravage Chupacabra, I guess. Kill Ashen Rider. That doesn't do anything. Yeah, this game's over. <coughs> Yep, they got Chupacabra. Uh, that's not going to work the way you think it works. Okay. We're having fun. All right, well. I kind of like the blue here. Again, like bribery, like they just don't have good creatures. I wish I had more cards that got rid of things out of their hand. Like, Vendillion Click's one of the only things that does that. But, like, Bribery and Living Death is good for us. Oh, what up, Chris? I have a problem. I'm listening, Christopher. I want to hear it.
I think Chris's problem is that he has to cut two hot sauces here. And I'll show you. Sun Titan's good, but we can't cast it, really. Cut, excuse me? Oh, I figured you were going down to 10. <clears throat> Los Calientes and the Classic are both very, very good. I'm not even a fan of the last stab, really. <clears throat> oh, those are the Jordans. This is what we're looking for. <coughs> Chris, how's the new Los Calientes? I haven't tried the new one yet. I might actually put it in order. This Los Calientes is great. The Classic is great. Um, I actually haven't tried a lot of these other ones. These are all new guys. Is it better than the old Los Calientes or no? Um... I mean, the problem is they have so many things to deal with our guys. Tefri is, is bad for us. Council's Judgment, Swords to Plowshares, Sore of Temptation. <coughs> Collective Brutality would be great against them. So would Vendillion Click, but... Yeah, I think we just submit like this. I don't know, man. Um, you know what? <laughs> eh. We got a lot of chances to hit fat boys here, so. Fat boy. Not a fat boy. Chris, what was your problem then? You said, you have, oh yeah, your problem is just like, you have a hot sauce problem is what you're saying. <clears throat> I disagree. Katie, are you in the chat? What did you say? Oh my god. Katie, hi, my love. I did not even see you. You were stuck between nifty Chris's. Great. Gristlebrand off the top. Give him my dad. That's not my dad. That's like the opposite of my dad. <coughs> Man. Well, if this guy dies, we're just going to get him right back. What do they have? We know they have Days and Remand. Jesus Christ. This is terrible. Is it nice in Utah today? Let me actually check. I don't know. I, I don't go outside as much now that I can't... Now that I'm quarantined in my house. Katie, you'll be happy to know the chat agreed with you about, uh, about the hot pink laces. They thought the hot pink would be, probably be the best on here. That was the majority, I believe. So it's going to be like gonna be like this job which i'm pretty excited for to be quite honest with you oh look they kept uh they kept the mana up so they can it is currently looks like it's maybe 48 ish <laughs> 45 and rainy it looks like that's worse <clears throat> well this is gonna be hard to get around It's actually less hard now that we've got that. They're like, well, I'll sacrifice. Do I get rid of this or the, the Archmage? That's the question. Colonnade's a real junker. Let's get rid of the Colonnade. Are we on turn five? Yes. Okay, cool. Don't count me with those garbage people. Oh my god. He didn't believe me. I, I didn't. I thought it would be too high of a contrast. <clears throat> I thought they'd be too loud. <coughs> do you miss having Swole Mike around? A lot, yeah. I miss Rob a ton, dude. 
Rob is thinking of, of trying to come visit for the Ikori the I- Ikoria uh like set review and early access event for for Arena. It really depends on uh the United States. Oh wow. Alright, sure. <laughs> they also have Winds of Bannon, like Jesus God. Their deck is just like six mana guy. Eight mana guy. Yep. Well, yeah, it would be like mid-April, so it really depends on how things are looking at the time, you know? Obviously, we're not going to make any plans right now, but it's on the it's on the radar. May we see Rob devour more chickens on stream? Yeah, probably. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. See, we have options here. We can Worm Coil if they steal it, it's bad. But I think it's better if they steal this than if they steal Gristlebrand, obviously. Wow, just a, just a hard counter spell. Sounds good. Plus, I don't want to give them days, so if we can hit one more land, I'm okay with that. Plus, this guy's just doing doing some work here. <laughs> I'll give you bribery in one pile. You can have the rest. <laughs> they took the bribery. For sure, my dude. For sure. Well, they don't get Gristlebrand, which is great. They also don't get Ashen Rider, so I guess they get Ulamog. Yep, that's that's rough. Let's play around days, I guess. Like we have Dark Ritual in the deck. Yeah, let's just draw here. Um, actually, that's not bad. Next turn, we can. <coughs> Oh, wait, we're dead. <laughs> they got Ulamog. Um, we can actually draw more here. <clears throat> Toxic Deluge for 10. No, we can't do that. Oh, boy. How do we get this guy out of here? Oh, biscuits. <clears throat> well. Hmm. Lady's making a ruckus over here. I mean, do we go to nine cards? No, there's nowhere we're... Do we have anything that shuffles back in? No. Interesting. Might as well see what we can hit, I guess. <clears throat> Literal nothing. Okay. Yep, that's game. Yeah, we just can't deal with our own Ulamog, I guess. We could have let them mill us, but then, like, we can never draw with Gristlebrand, so... I don't know. Factor Fiction hitting bribery is pretty nuts. This is not... This is actually alright, because if Hippie actually lands a few hits, then we get to animate dead something they have. Plus, like, whatever, we got lands here. 
oh man, my throat's like <coughs> real dry. I'm trying to I'm trying to keep keep hydrated, my dudes. Oh god, mono red. Oh god, demonic tutor. Let's just get in tomb. Uh, next time we can go animate dead in tomb gristle brand, and I'm pretty sure that kills the mono red deck, right? Yep. I'll, you know what? Give me a land. Give f father a land. They did it. That was very nice of them. Big Daddy Gristle, put him into play. I just want to be a Gristle Daddy every day. Gristle Daddy. Oh God, don't have an answer for Gristle Daddy. I don't know what you could have to do red to deals with Gristle Daddy. Oh God, really? You have like Flame Slash and something else? Wow, that's wild. Oh, my internet's going down. I responded to Gristle Daddy. Is my clock going down? Wow, even though I hit okay. That's wild. <laughs> yeah. Comcast is hot shit. Comcast, if you're watching, you suck. What up, Desi Red Shoes? Okay. I'm just going to start a new... Just talking about Gristle Daddy. <clears throat> oh yeah, internet's going, going wild. What do you think? One, two, three, four, five. We take five plus the seven from drawing. We go to four. But if we're able to reanimate Gristlebrand again or put a worm coil into play, like we could be okay. Cause they can't play Hellrider. Maybe they can. I don't know. Is Magic Online crashing? Are you guys, am I still alive? Are you guys, can, can you guys still see me and hear me? Oh, Gristle Daddy. Maybe the play was Worm Coil, but I don't think so, man. I guess we couldn't actually Worm Coil, because... Dude, this is so weird. Like, I'm live on Twitch, but, like, all my websites and, like, Magic Online is having a hard time loading. So, like, I don't know what's going on. Like, it's very confusing. Like, websites are, like, not connected, connecting in one second. And I'm just like, all right, can you connect now? It's really fucking weird. Oh, and we had a lightning bolt, huh? Okay. I think we go to two. I think we go to four here. Because <clears throat> we have no gas. So, like, I think we just have to do this. This does not look much better, unfortunately. Wow. I was really excited about Gristlebrand, thinking that the mono red deck could not deal with the Gristlebrand, but... Exhum? <clears throat> well. See if they can deal with two Gristle Daddies. Uh, discard until you have seven. Next turn, we can actually play Worm Coil if we get rid of it now, so... All right. I mean, it's real greedy if they have Fire Blast, but if they don't have Fire Blast, like, we're probably dead. Right? I mean, like... Uh, <coughs> <coughs> we don't have any action for, like, three turns. We have Hypnotic Specter in hand. So, like... I, I don't think it's that greedy. I think it's, like, we have to actually put another Gristle Brand in play. Force them to deal with it twice, or have four damage burn in hand. And since they just use these two, it's, it's pretty unlikely. Especially with two mana. Also, we won the game, so... Suck on them eggs.
Oh, I think Languish is probably good here. Um, Reanimate is kind of scary, actually. I also like Living Death. I want I want all the cards that kill their creatures and put mine into play. <coughs> Those eggs are being sucked on as we speak. Appreciate it. Hypnotic Spectre seems a little too slow. And I almost kind of want to take out, like, Mind Twist because it just seems slow. Imagine making fun of a kid for having two dads and they're both Gristle Brand. God, that would be unbelievable. Also, don't make fun of kids with two dads because that's totally fine. I'm just 41 it. I, I ain't got no. I ain't. I'm good. Um, oh yes, Collective Brutality, we're going to gain some life, kill their two drop, and then Necromancy Gristlebrand. The game has ended. I'm going to go out on a limb. Game's over. It's not a trophy, but it's a satisfying 2-1. And I'm going to go take some medicine. Not for any other fact except for my cough. The cough is just getting a little, a little obnoxious, so. After this round... Check out manatraders.com. It's a great subscription service for Magic Online that you can use to do all the things. Let's... Uh, I don't think we want... Blah, 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 blah. Let's... The two life seems kind of irrelevant here. Negative two, and we'll look at your hand. <coughs> I don't care about two life here. Uh, incinerate and Flame Slash. Ooh, they would have been able to do it again. Let's get rid of... I think we actually get rid of Flame Slash here. Incinerate not only costs more, but it's much harder to get another 4 damage spell. So. And we also get to just play Necrotal on, like, I guess they're Young Peasy. Oh, they don't even have any more lands. Oh, yeah, this game. This game has ended. Did that, did, is that Magic Online finally loading? Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. Should we target their Runaway Steamkin? Nah, we good. <laughs> GG's. G's. Make G's. We've cast three Gristle Brands against our mono red opponent. Borals, boils, and gorals. They're either writing a really long, hateful message, or they're trying to figure out if they can get out of this. It literally didn't matter what order they played their cards in. It's true. It's true. I guess we're just going to hang out. Also, check out CoolStuffInc.com every Wednesday. Because that's when my new articles go up. CoolStuffInc.com, ladies and gentlemen. There's a shadow searching in the gristle brand. <coughs> oh, they were just in their upkeep. Okay, they they conceded the game. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Follow or subscribe on Twitch if you guys have that Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate it. Are you a cool guy, Inc.? Yeah, that's right. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.